This is Luke Radowski of WeAreChange.org here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to. But also, I recently found out it is the number one capital in the world for digital nomads. And if you're interested in starting your own business, getting away from the state, getting away from taxes, getting away from maybe even the chaos that's happening in the United States right now, whatever you're fighting each other, this is the number one place to go and to talk about this. I've been all around town and everyone has been telling me to talk to Johnny FD, who's over here and ran the Nomad Summit just a few days ago with hundreds of people coming all around the world to learn about being your own boss, being an entrepreneur, and manifesting your own destiny. Now, Johnny, you've been a part of this community for a very long time. Why here? So this community actually hasn't existed for that long. It's really only been since 2013 that the digital nomad community has really been a big thing. And it went from having 10, 20 of us working out of a coffee shop, working out of our laptops, to literally having close to 400 people at this conference this weekend that all want to get out of wherever they're from. It could be from the US, it could be from Australia, could from the EU, whatever it is. People are here, the saving taxes, they're able to travel, expense everything on their accounts. and. It's, it's amazing. Chiang Mai, if you, if you guys can see, this is the middle of winter right now. We're at a pool party. Uh, we have fresh coconuts. It's just life is easy. It's cheap. And it's, it's, it's the best place to be, period. Yeah, I mean, I traveled a lot, and this place is amazing. It has like a big city feel, but also a little city feel. It has a lot of the amazing beauty of Southeast Asia without the bad kind of tourism and the crap that you get everywhere else. And it's really just such a cheap place as well to live. Can you talk about just some of the benefits that people get by coming to Chiang Mai? Yeah, definitely. So right now we are actually at a condo unit just like five minutes away from the cinemas, you know, great restaurants, great coffee shops, everything that you want. And these places are, what, 300 bucks a month? It has a pool, it has maid service. It's like, why wouldn't you do that? Why would you pay thousands more back home and pay thousands more taxes in a year when you could just be out here? Yeah, massages, $4 an hour. Beers are like 50 cents to, to a dollar. Whiskey's even cheaper. It's <laughs> but it, it's, it's such an incredible, really beautiful place. And I wanted to talk about the concept of kind of nomading because a lot of people are like, wait, you don't have to work for somebody else. You don't have to be a slave for somebody else. You don't have to be in the system and the grid that everyone puts you in. You could actually be your own boss. What motivated you to kind of be a nomad? And can you kind of describe the process for a lot of people out there? Because it's just common, simple sense. I didn't know this, but I, I guess technically I'm a nomad too. Uh, so just explain it to us. So I went through the normal system. I, I you know, went to high school, got, a, got good grades so I can go to a good college, took out student loans, graduated so I can try to get a good corporate job, and there I am. I'm working for this big American corporation, treating me like crap, I don't have any benefits, and at the end of the year, I'm like, I have no, nothing in savings. Uh, I've hardly been able to take a vacation, because by the time you even fly here, you have to fly straight back, and I have to keep working, so I have all the student loan debt, and it's just, it's BS, you just can, I just couldn't get ahead. And I just wasn't happy. You know, I had everything that people tell you that is what you should do. And even then, if you're not happy, what next? And I'm so lucky that I found accidentally, you know, Chiang Mai in Thailand. I came here actually to go scuba diving because that was my passion, my sport. I mean, imagine being able to wake up every morning just doing exactly what you want to do while living on a small budget of a thousand dollars a month or less. And I write about it, in, in my first book called 12 Second Thailand, where I was living the good life on the cheap. I was living for about $600 a month for years. And you know, it wasn't anything luxurious, but if you want to live you know, in a beachside bamboo hut and you want to go hang on the beach, you know, go scuba dive, do whatever you want to do, you can do that. You know? But then I realized I needed to level up. I wanted to be able to make what I used to make back in the US, if not more, but you know, still be able to travel, still be able to be location dependent, still be, be able to be out here. And that is how I stumbled on to online location dependent business, AKA now what we call the digital nomad movement. And that is what the Nomad Summit is all about. We brought together nine speakers from all around the world. A lot of them are actually making six figure you know, uh, salaries, either working remotely or better yet, being their own boss and creating their own business and being able to do it from their laptops wherever they are. Yeah, there was a, an amazing story that I'm hearing everyone talk about about this uh, Filipino woman who was a virtual assistant and then she learned how to run her own business and do all this different stuff and then she became her own boss. So there's people doing so many different things here from drop shipping, from doing Amazon sales. Can you just talk about the plethora of options that are available here when it comes to just being a digital nomad? So when I first started, 
it, the information was not there. Like, there was very few people blogging about it. There's very few books about it. Uh, the conferences like this weren't around yet. So I just had to look for people on random places, on meetup.com and these places, and just see people who liked similar books that I liked, like T Tim Ferriss's 4-Hour Workweek. He talks about escaping, uh, you know, and... Then I stumbled into Kindle Publishing, which is how I wrote my first book. Then I stumbled into drop shipping with this guy named Anton who had a course and taught me how to do that. But now, now I literally meet someone every day that has a different business model and they seem like it's, as long as you put in the work, everything works. Yeah. And I have a podcast called Travel Like a Boss and every single week we interview a different person and most of them have different business models. So people who do art for a living, some people who sell, you know, um, what are, you know, t-shirts online, people that sell furniture online to digital products. Literally, as it's, we have 140 episodes and pretty much all of them are on a different topic and a different business model, so I know it works. Yeah. Just to get into just some of the outer levels here, because obviously taxes and legalities and visas are a big issue. I know someone here who uh, decided to go to a MMA training, uh, and then he got a one-year visa, and all he has to do is train MMA whenever he wants, and he's able to stay here. So what are some of the kind of legal uh, ramifications about being here, paying taxes, having your own business, and, and how does that work? So the easiest way, if you guys are just wanting to test it out, is you can get a six-month tourist visa, which you're not legally allowed to work. So you definitely don't want to be uh, doing any actual official business while you're traveling. You don't want to hire any Thai employees or sell anything to, to Thai people. But if your business is online, it's location-dependent, has nothing to do with Thailand or the country you're in, it's still a gray zone because there's not like a, a very legal definition. But there are thousands of people doing it. And if they kick us out of this country, guess what? We are going to the very next country that wants us. Yeah. And it's interesting because it's also there's like a rainy season here, not a rainy season. So you got people coming in, coming out as well, and moving it. But it's a great way to obviously network. I mean, I came to like the after party. We're here at one right now, meeting incredible human beings who are doing really awesome uh, work and being their own boss. Not only just just you know from a business corporate perspective, but also from a humanitarian perspective. With people out here who you know if they sell something, they give it to an impoverished community. Uh, using new kind of um, humanitarian business models that really will change and revolutionize everything like the internet is. And we're living in this day and age where you have so many possibilities and so many options. Why work a freaking nine to five at a corporate desk job and have a miserable existence in your life? Figure it out. Uh, any last words about what you do about Shang Mai, about what people should know about just, this is a huge question, just being your own boss and then living a life of freedom and, and love. I'm going to give you a great example of something you actually just said. These sunglasses right here, these are made by Tree Tribe. They're made out of sustainable bamboo. And the guys at the pool party, attendees of the summit, they actually own this company. And what they do is every single time someone buys one of these from their site, they plant 10 trees. So because they are creating the change, not only are they profitable, they're location dependent, they'll be able to travel, but they're providing cool items. I, like, I just happen to have these. It, like, this wasn't even a plan. But this is what I want you guys to do if you guys want to be the change and make the change, is create cool stuff, but do it on your terms. Why do it for some big corporation that's going to just treat you as a corporate slave when you can be your own boss? Do it for yourself and take that money, take that free time you have, and create amazing things, start giving back. And that's actually what my talk this year, 2017's Nomad Sun was all about, is getting to transcendence. Not just becoming the best version of yourself, but also you know, being having excess. So then you can start giving back, you can start making huge changes in other people's lives. If you guys wanna follow more, I write everything very transparently because I'm a very, very big believer in that. JohnnyFD.com, I will show you anything on there that you wanna know and get away from the tax corporate slave system that's <laughs> controlling all of us. Your link will be in the description below. Thank you so much, Johnny, for all your information. Thank you for allowing to, uh, to be a part of your summit. It was awesome and incredible. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're gonna have more crazy adventures and all over Thailand, all over the world here on this YouTube channel. And also don't forget, I am doing a seminar and a whole full day class in Acapulco, Mexico. If you want more information about that, about life training and training to be your own version of your damn self and a free human being, check out the link in the description below as well. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change.